guys, this is Wirehead King, and well, this is part one of how to make a desert mountain in Blender 2.58. Uh, just let you know what we're doing. Uh, if you haven't seen the sort of introduction video, it is um, well, this basically. We're going to be creating this, um, and this is part one. So this is going to be setting up the scene. Uh, so yeah, alright, let's get into it. So, uh, so, the thing that I'm basically going to be doing is uh, making a mountain first. And to do that, if you go to File and go to User Preferences, oh, so a bit of wind came out of my mouth. Um, under Add-ons, if you then choose Add Mesh, then um, all right, uh, you can choose Add Mesh and Landscape, and you can just tick that box there and then click Save as Default, and um, yeah, once you've done that, um, uh, you know you can you can also see what other add-ons there are. Um, I've got a few. A uh, few. Just scroll down. You can see I've got quite a lot of add-ons enabled, and I find them all quite fun and amusing. Uh, so yeah, just you know, see what you want. Uh, but we're going to be using the landscape generator today. All right, so we're going to delete the cube and add mesh landscape and. You probably your first thoughts are it's tiny. Your second thoughts are this is really ro low resolution and horrible. Well, if you set these subdivisions to 100, it's going to increase it. And this is quite a good editing sort of um, uh, kind of what would you call it? A nice editing. Uh, yeah, it's basically nice and low poly, uh, but with a bit of detail so we can see what we're doing. All right, um, so. As, as I said earlier, it's small. So let's increase the mesh size to 20. And um, it's now really big, but the mountains are really flat. So we're going to um, scroll down and increase the height to, I don't know, 10. Um, but now it's really flat and yucky. So we're going to set the plateau to about 7. And now it's all spiky. Oops. So uh, we're going to just go to noise size and choose 5, um, maybe, not sure. But before we go into a lot of details, we just want to change the type from multifractal to uh, hetero terrain. Um, and yeah, we can just get some more awesome things there. Uh, so we might just decrease the height to 6. Uh, okay, so that's looking alright. Uh, might need to increase the plateau level to eight slightly. Yeah, there we go. Those little peaks at the top have gone all nice now. Um, still quite spiky though, so I'm gonna increase the noise size just by a bit and make it six, maybe seven. Hmm. Um, all right, so we've got a general nice-ish shape, uh, it's, but it looks pretty much exactly like how it was at the start, but all big. Um, and well, it's not really too good. So I'm just going to increase the, r oh, just change the random seed, and it's just going to randomize what it looks like a bit more. But you can see you can go back if you like something, and it pops up to exactly the same thing. Um, it's still got like a built-in memory of kind of like the template of it, and then it just applies all the settings afterwards. So it's a really clever little plugin. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, don't try and move this, make it bigger, or do anything apart from stuff in this window to it, because otherwise it's just going to become a standard mesh, and you're going to have to start again or something. Uh, so yeah. Um, Alright, so I'm actually liking this um, this shape here, uh, but it's still quite low resolution, so I'm going to increase the subdivisions to 300. That's what, that, that's what I did last time on the image you saw. And uh, that's pretty good. Alright, so this is now looking a lot better. We're going to add some modifiers in later uh, in part uh, 2. So, um, yeah, at the moment this is looking absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah. Now, uh, oh, that's no, not an option here. If you were to, if I, I think it's already doing this, but we can now move it around and, yep, okay. So, make sure it's smooth. I mean, flat. <laughs> You can see why we like smooth, or why I like anyway. Um, all right, so I'm going into front view, and I'm just going to sort of move around this on the z way. Uh, R Z. All right, 
Alright, so now I'm just moving around. Okay, that's good. So, what's this? Minus 90 or something? So, minus 90. Um, what's it? Yeah, I'd rather have it here. Okay, so now we're going to press uh, Control Alt Number Pad 0, and that's just going to uh, put the camera where we are. And I'm just going to get a nice spot. Um, I'm also going to add a plane and just drag it along. And this is going to just act as our sand um, for now. But we're not seen. Okay. Um, Alright, so that's it for setting up the scene. We've done that now. So, oh, no, we haven't. Uh, we need to do some lighting. Cause that, I'm sort of counting that setting up the scene. So we're going to delete the default light. And uh, we're going to add a lamp and choose sunlight. And um, there's going to be a bit of it later in the textures and stuff. That's going to sort of affect the lighting and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that at the moment. What I'm going to do is just going to find a nice place, so this is about, I'd say that the sun here is about mm, 1, 2, maybe about 3 o'clock-ish, but no, 3 is halfway around, it's about 1, maybe 2 o'clock, uh, in, you know, in the sky and stuff, so, um, in fact, I've been saying stuff a lot in this video, um, but yeah, so we're just going to increase the energy to 2. That's why uh, usually I have the sun at 1.5 but this is in the middle of a desert. It's going to be a nice clear sky so um, no clouds or anything to block the sun so 2 is going to be a good option. And I'm going to make it a sort of bright yellowy orangey colour like that. Uh, that's maybe a bit too orange about there. Okay. Um, so it is pretty much white when you look at it but it's really bright yellow. Okay. So uh, we're going to save as part 1 to wherever we are, uh, mountain, Toot. here we go, and I'm going to call this, um, um, part one, uh, I'm probably just going to overwrite it later by accident, but I don't care, alright, so that's it for part one, thank you for watching, um, next up is part two, where we're going to be into, mod get or getting into modifiers and stuff like that, uh, so yeah, have a nice time watching that. Uh, one thing I might want to do though is just bring this plane forwards because at the moment it's absolutely massive and you know um, well, I want it to be out of the mountain ideally. Um, yeah. Alright so yeah um, that's it really so um, yeah um, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, visit my website, all that stuff you can do is in the description. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye, I'll see you in part two, hopefully. <laughs>